how to prepare your Minecraft world for a server host transfer. The first thing you're going to need to do is to make sure that your Minecraft server is stopped. To do this, you'll need an SSH client. I'm on Windows, so the SSH client that we're going to be using today is called Putty. I'm going to double click on this to open it. You double click on yours and open your SSH client. Once you've done that, you'll need to enter in the host name or the IP address of your Minecraft server. And to find your IP address, go to your server host. I'm going to open up my browser here and I'm already logged into my server host. Once you're on your Minecraft server host dashboard, you should be able to see the IP address of your server, the username of your server and the password. We're going to be needing all three of these details to be able to SSH into our server. So I'm going to copy my IP address or host name and then I'm going to open back up Putty or in your case, your SSH client, paste that in and then click on open to begin SSH and into your server. Left click on open and now you'll be asked for the username. The username in this case is going to be root. So I'm just going to copy that here and then I'm going to right click to paste it into the terminal. Hit enter and now you'll need to enter in the password. So again, copy the password here and then go back to the SSH terminal. I'm going to maximize this so you can see it better. And then I'm just going to right click to paste in the password. And all you need to do now is hit enter and you'll be SSH'd into your Minecraft server. Great guys, you should be greeted with a page similar to this once you're logged in. On my server, I have screen running and therefore my Minecraft server is running 24 seven. So to see what's going on in your Minecraft server and to be able to enter commands into your Minecraft server, you're going to need to open screen. So to do this, all you need to do is type screen space minus R. Please remember guys, you should only type screen space minus R if you have screen installed and you are running screen. All right guys, once you've typed that in, hit enter. And now you should be able to see what's going on in your server. So as you can see, my server is currently running. So I'm going to stop it real quick. So all you need to do is type the word stop. And once you've done that, just simply hit enter and your server should stop. Once that's done, you're done, your server has stopped. So now we don't really need this terminal window anymore, so I'm just going to X out of it. And then I'm going to click on OK to close the session. Great, so that's the first step. The next step is to transfer our Minecraft world from our server onto our local device. To do this, we're going to be using SFTP transfer method, and I'm going to be using WinSCP. So I'm just going to minimize this really quickly so I can see my desktop. And as you can see, here is WinSCP here, which is going to be our SFTP client. Another SFTP client that some people like to use on Windows is called FileZilla, but my preference is WinSCP. All right, guys, so double click on your SFTP client to open it. Once that's open, you're going to need to enter in the same details that you use to connect connect to your server with SSH. So you're going to need to open back up your browser and then start copying the IP address, the username and the password. Let's start with the IP address here and then paste that in, which is the host name and now the username, which is root. And lastly, the password. Once you've entered all these three pieces of information, you can leave the file protocol as SFTP and the port number as 22. And then all you need to do is left click on login to be logged into your server. Once you've logged into your server, just maximize this window here. Once you've done that, you need to find your Minecraft server world. For me, it's quite easy. It's in a folder titled Minecraft. On the right hand side is the server you've just SFTP'd into. And on the left here is your local device or your desktop. So I'm just going to double click on Minecraft just to show you the contents here. As you can see, this is just a vanilla Minecraft server. So this is the typical contents of the Minecraft server world that you're going to have. So I'm just going to go back here so we can see the Minecraft folder again. And now all that's left to do is to transfer the file contents onto your local device. To do this, all you need to do is left click and hold and then drag it on the left hand side here and then simply let go and it will begin transferring your Minecraft server world. All right, guys, this is going to take a bit of time. So I'll be back with you once the transfer has been completed. And there we go, guys. The transfer to our local device has been completed. I'm just going to minimize this window now just to show you and minimize this one too just to show you that your Minecraft world has been transferred and is sitting on my desktop here. So there's the Minecraft folder that we just transferred from our Vulture server host. So I'm just going to double click on it just to show you that all the contents are there. And now all you need to do is transfer all these file contents 
onto your new server by logging into your new server using the SSH and SFTP login details and then transferring all your Minecraft Worlds server files and then starting your server. If you're looking for a cheap server host then I recommend Vulture as that's the one I use. I'll also put my referral link in the description below where you'll get some free promo credits and get the first month hosting your Minecraft server for free with Vulture. You'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. You may also now choose Choose not to host your Minecraft world on a server host and instead host it locally. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes this video. Because you've stopped your server before you transferred any of the file's contents, you have prevented your Minecraft world from being corrupted during the transfer process and you've also made a local copy of your Minecraft world that you can keep as a backup. Alright guys, again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let